Razil Azir was a man. In time, his kind would be called Titan. Mountains of muscle and might and metal. His collar was fur and teeth. His person clad in ornate, golden etched plating. Trophies upon his shoulders. This was before the city was the city. This was before the walls. Still in the shadow of the fragile giant above. But before. Welcome back Guardians. In today's Destiny Lore video, we will explore the lore surrounding Razil Azir, who is often claimed to be the first Guardian. I hope you have been enjoying the weekly Destiny artwork, and once again I have a new piece of art at the end of this video, which is my favourite to date. The sketches are available for download on my Patreon account, the link is in the description. You can also vote for your next Destiny Lore episode with the poll card in the top right hand corner. This is Mylan Games and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny Lore episode. Let's begin with the Grimmel card, Razil Azir, Before These Walls. As you heard in the intro, it reads, In time, his kind would be called Titan. This implies that Razil Azir was one of the very first Titans. It means that he even predates the Titan Orders that defended the city at the Battle of Six Fronts. The next paragraph continues by saying, This was before the city was the city and that it was before the walls. If you look at Destiny's timeline, we had the Golden Age, which lasted for centuries, followed by the Collapse and consequently the Dark Age, which eventually subsided leading to the City Age. The timelines for these ages are very blurred, and the City Age card reads, When did the City Age begin? Perhaps when the bulk of the world's survivors lived beneath the Traveller, rather than in the wilderness, or when the titans raised the first wall, or at six fronts, when the city first faced coordinated, overwhelming attack, and repelled it decisively. Despite not knowing the exact timeline, when the Razil Azir Grimoire card says, before the walls, it implies that these events occurred in the late Dark Age, or at the very beginning of the City Age. Consequently, you could argue that Razil Azir may not necessarily be the first Guardian. He could be, but is not guaranteed. This is because ghosts were created immediately after the Traveller was crippled, at the very beginning of the Dark Age. And surely, a Guardian was created that even predates Razil Azir. This is reinforced by the Dark Age Grimoire card which reads, From the deep black came the Awoken, their eyes haunted. Exos marched in the refugee columns, cloaked in moss and shattered memories. And among them came the ghosts, beginning their search. So why do people refer to Razil Azir as the first guardian? Well, this Grimoire card makes a clear distinction between guardians and another group known as the Risen. The card reads, Great powerful men and women the Risen, stood at the faction's sides. Protection, enforcers, misused possibility. Misery crept into this false paradise, yet hope lingered. Seeing the cracks in this society born beneath the giant's fractured shell, some among the Risen challenged the dissolution of all that could be. They would no longer serve as instruments of oppression. They would be more. Thus began an unnecessary war, made necessary by greed, ambition, fear. And in the chaos of this struggle came the scavengers, aliens with appetites, a common enemy. In the end, the scavengers were repelled and the factions fell, their grip broken, though their beliefs remained. This was the earliest days of the Guardians, when might found purpose, prosperity was in reach. It appears that the Risen are the original Guardians, before they were united in a common goal. There are a number of Grimoire cards and item descriptions that in fact hint at this original group. The Ghost Fragment Titan Grimoire card reads, A ghost without a Guardian. I remember when I was Risen, you know, 
when I woke in that wreckage to see my ghost hovering there, its light in my eyes like an angel. The new monarchy warlock bond, the Risen Ones, reads, What rules us is our service to the greater welfare of the city. And lastly, you may not have noticed how when you create a new titan, you start with Mark of the Risen. Whilst his cards and items confirm that the original Guardians are referred to as the Risen, it also makes the obvious connection that the name the Risen was given because the members were resurrected from the dead. Even though Brazil's Grimoire card does not describe his original death, it is implied that he is part of the Risen and therefore must have died at some stage. We do not know of Raziel's previous life, however there is definitely some intrigue with this card. He almost has this royal appearance with ornate golden etched plating upon his shoulders, as well as fur and teeth which he wore as trophies, potentially hinting at his power and success on the battlefield. One can also not help see a comparison with Lord Shax's appearance. Whilst we do not know of Raziel's previous life, the Grimoire Guard provides some descriptions of the Risen, and they are not positive. The Risen were initially enforcers for the factions and acted as instruments of oppression. Consequently, this card also appears to reference the faction wars. Initially, I thought that the timeline was too early to be referencing the faction wars. However, the law does seem to match. The Grimoire card quite accurately describes what we know to be the end of the faction wars, that is, Guardians rising up and ending the conflict between the factions. It reads, Seeing the cracks in this society born beneath the giant's fractured shell, some among the Risen challenged the dissolution of all that could be. They would no longer serve as instruments of oppression, they would be more. In the end, the scavengers were repelled and the factions fell, the grip broken, though their beliefs remain. This was the earliest days of the Guardians, when might found a purpose. Prosperity was in reach. This can be directly compared to the faction's Grimoire card, which reads, They've done more good than harm, by most calculations. In the city's earliest days, various factions vied for the hearts and minds of the refugee masses. Powerful struggles threatened to shatter an already tenuous existence. The following conflicts, known as the Faction Wars, brought the city to its knees. When the chaos grew intolerable, a gathering of guardians fought to end the conflict. The new peace brought a new order. The city consensus and the speaker ruled together, and the surviving great factions worked through civil channels to pursue their agendas. So the Risen left their respective factions, helped form the consensus, and I believe at this point they were no longer referred to as the Risen, but now referred to as Guardians. The Grimoire card implies that Razil was a leader during this movement, and hence why he is often described as the first Guardian. However, I think it's more technically correct to describe him as one of the first Guardians, remembering that a group of the Risen ended the faction wars. Then again, maybe Raziel deserves an even greater title than Guardian, as he appears to have more power than the rest. The card reads, Raziel had been a champion of these wars, a leader. Against the alien pirates, he had been more. If the giant wasn't a god, then maybe Raziel was. The card even makes an effort to separate Raziel from your standard Guardian. It reads, as the first walls formed, built of hard work and sacrifice, Razil and the Guardians stood against the alien plunderers time and again. More survivors arrived, more warriors. What I believe separated Razil Azir from other Guardians is that he was very competent in controlling light and using it as a weapon. In fact, he may have been the very first striker titan. The Razil Azir war without end Grimoire card reinforces this. It describes multiple battles beyond the wall, led by Razil, including ambushing the House of Devils, 
protecting settlements that existed outside the city walls and what appears to be the first documentation of a striker's fist of havoc. In the card, Rosil attempts to take on a fallen catch single-handedly. He orders his ghost to remain hidden and Rosil allows himself to be killed by the fallen. With the fall of this mighty titan, the fallen Kel exits a catch to claim his prize. The Kel picks up Rosil's limp body in victory, surrounded by fallen forces. The card continues. Rosil's ghost started low through the crowd. He didn't like Rosil's plan, but now he understood it. Distracted by the Kel's triumph, the ghost's presence went unnoticed until a beam of light swept over Rosil's body. The mood shifted instantly, cheers turning to ravenous shouts. The Kel's gaze fell to the ghost as the beam faded. The circle began to collapse, the fallen set to pounce. As the Kel moved to toss Rosil aside, cold steel met the underside of the alien marauder's jaw, followed by a red flash as Rosil pulled his cannon's trigger. Ether spewed in an angry geyser and the Kel's grip loosened. Rosil hit the ground and unloaded five more rounds into the fallen leader's torso. The monster dropped. Frenzied, the Kel's crew closed in like a flood. Rosil's ghost lifted above the fray, frantic. Now, now, now. In one motion, Rosil rose from a crouch, his fists clenched and raced high as a storm of arc light built within him his full might raining down on the Kel's chest. The shockwave of Rosil's attack hit like a meteor, shattering the Kel's body and any fallen within the Havoc Storm's radius. The remaining fallen staggered, knocked back and dazed. Rosil triggered his sparrow, his ghost flew to his side. We leaving? Before that catch opens up on us. Rosil punched the throttle as the fallen crew opened fire. Let's never do that again, his ghost pleaded. Without doubt, Rosil stands amongst the other Titan legends. Jolda, Radagast, Silimar, Saint-14, Kabir, Uros, Lord Saladin, Lord Shax, Commander Zavala, and the Titan Orders. Yet his story is not yet finished. His death not yet documented. His whereabouts unknown. That is, if he still lives. I hope you've enjoyed this latest Destiny Law episode. And if you would like to support the channel, please leave a comment, The Risen, an acknowledgement of Rosil's warlock-like resurrection to single-handedly destroy a Kel. Lastly, as promised, here is the latest Destiny sketch. You must stop eating salted popcorn. For those who have watched my Zerv video, this will make complete sense. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.